It's Crook and Chase. And uh, we've been visiting with this gentleman backstage just to make sure that we don't do anything to injure this guy. Well, we could kill him, yeah. We could. We don't want to, but uh, he's an escape artist. And Michael Griffin is here to escape from the human burrito, he calls it. <laughs> We're going to roll him up. No, he's no so that's happy. right. We're roll him up in a human burrito, and we pull all of the, the what do you call those things? The straps. Straps. <laughs> The stress. It's well, have you taken that medication yet today, or you, is, this, is this a natural thing we're dealing with? Yeah, here? no, I took it a couple hours ago, obviously. You know those thingies, yeah. So no, we seriously. Tighten the straps. So. Yeah, I mean, we were told, we were instructed what we're supposed to do. It's like a, it's like a straight jacket. It's just like a huge bag, okay? We ought to get one for tea. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I never thought about that. You step in, he steps into this bag, and we raise the bag up on both sides. We tighten the strap around his neck. I mean, you're going to see his head sticking out. You see his neck. Mm -hmm. And then we strap about six or seven down through there as tight as we can. He says he can get out of there. Mm -hmm. I can't get out of a parking ticket, but he can get out of that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really anxious to see if we can tie him in there tight enough. Because you know, you know, if we strap him in there and he can't get out, mm -hmm. we win $10,000. That's right. See, he has this thing going. It's called the uh, Escape Challenge. Mm -hmm. And if you can put him in something that he can't get out of, you win $10,000. So we have a shot at it today. Ooh. And we don't even have to buy a vowel either, do we? No, we don't. <laughs> All right, that's coming up later in the show. This should be fun. Stick around. Yeah. We'll be back with more Crook and Chase after the break. Our hey. escape artist here just asked Charlie for his watch, and Charlie handed it over to him. He says, well, what are you going to do with it? He goes, I'm taking it home. Thanks. Yeah, he just, uh, you know, I thought I need to remove it for the, you know, the, the presentation here. No, uh -huh. this, uh, this man has been awarded the, uh, the award by, I think it was International Magic um, Awards. Well, many prestigious yeah. awards. Right, including the greatest escape artist, and we're about to put him to the test today. He has this challenge thing, too, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Let's meet him first. This right. is Michael Griffin, everybody. Hello, Michael. Come on, everybody. Let's see it. Yeah. that you have going on. So the challenge is? The challenge, it's very interesting. We have a $10,000 challenge open to anybody anywhere in the world who can come up with a device from which I cannot escape from. Mm -hmm. The hardest challenge we just faced uh, so far was in December in Singapore. Oh. We had a design company over there. They tend to take things a little bit further. This company came up with a mother of all boxes. Mm -hmm. Airtight, lag bolts, the whole nine yards. They forced me down into this box, sealed it all up, I thought I was going to die. It took me 17 minutes to get out of this box. Which is a long time because usually you can get out in seconds or minutes, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, typically, yes. yes uh, okay. And it was just, it was amazing. The, the audience rushed the stage afterwards. They wouldn't go for a half hour trying to tear the box. I got my first death threat from a guy really? who thought we were actually in league with the devil because... because what it, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm going, wow. hey, I just got out of handcuffs. Well, well our All producer right. said that she knows a device from which you could not escape. What's that? A wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah so, really. cough up the box, so, baby. No, he's making the payments, trust me, on that one. All right, so, so what's with the handcuffs here? The, I wanted to try something a little bit different. Could I please have your left hand? Mine? Uh, Charlie's. Oh. This is my uh, <laughs> You're testing me, and, aren't you? And uh -huh. your right hand. Well, I've heard things yeah, about that. Yeah, okay. All right. Here we go. So Charlie's being cuffed. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been hypothesized that to get out of a policeman's handcuff, all one needs is a handcuff key. Mm -hmm. Well, to a degree, that is correct. You can get out if you have the key. However, it is not easy, and it does require some time. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have all the time in the world, but Charlie's been trying for several minutes here. No, I haven't. I, <laughs> I'd like to leave it up to you folks. Should I let him out now, yes or no? No. I couldn't hear you all the way up here. Should I let him out? No. Whose show are you at, anyway? <laughs> okay, wait. This I is... want to thank you for having me. <laughs> no, no, no. No, it's, no, it's really, they're, they're, they're tight. And well, you get out of them. Well, yeah, you get out of them with a key, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, are you saying you can sneak out of these? What I want you to do, Lorianne, would you please hold on to that? And I'm going to make sure okay. he doesn't switch them, that they're still the same handcuffs. Okay, he's putting Still the same handcuffs. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the producer... Oh, I wanted to ask you, Charlie, since we don't have an officer here, I wanted to ask you, would you please verify for everybody here and at home that these handcuffs are number one, they are not toys. No. They're they not are toys. not tricks. No. And they are police handcuffs. They are. And you have the key, Lorianne. I have a key. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, the producers asked me to try to come up with something special for you. I'd like to try something I've never performed anywhere for any audience. Okay. What you're about to see, I cannot guarantee you I'm going to be able to escape at all. Nobody can. I can guarantee you two things, though. One, it is an honor to be here in Nashville for you. Two, 
I will try to escape from this handcuff as fast as is humanly possible. No, faster than what is humanly possible. Here we go. All righty. Faster than is humanly possible. In case you're wondering, whenever he's arrested, he's asked to ride in the front <laughs> with the police officer. Well, see, now they're closed and they won't. Okay, fine. All fine. right, I don't know how you did that. I All don't right. know either. Now, this is something that we've been uh, kind of looking forward to because we don't think you can get out of here. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to explain this to you. 130 years ago in the primitive Navy of the 1860s, mm -hmm. a lot of men lost their sanity at sea. This was called going mad with grog. Now, when this happened and there was nothing left to do, by law, the captain had to order restraint for that madman in the Navy Sea Bag. Now, a Navy Sea Bag was literally a tight, constricting canvas cocoon. When the prisoner was condemned to this, he would be bound up tight. He would be forced to lay out on the deck of the ship, and he would bake all day in the hot sun. Oh, wow. For him, escape was virtually impossible. There was one release, and that was death by constriction. Ah. I have with me today an exact reproduction of one of the old Navy Sea Bags. Mm. Once I am inside it, I will be bound with six straps running the length of my body. Starting at my ankles, running up to my knees, uh -huh. then to my, on up to the arms, mm -hmm. finally the neck. You ready? Charlie, uh -huh. Lori Ann, and our stagehand have been instructed to strap me in as tightly as they possibly can. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to challenge for you what was once thought impossible, escape from that Navy sea bag. Let's get his mic on. All right. Okay, let's get the mic on. All right, hop on in here, Michael, and we'll, uh, we'll do our best to get you strapped up. Kenny's going to help us out as well. Can't escape from his microphone. That's all right. Okay. okay, so the shoes come off. Okay, bring it all the way. Up. Okay, bring it up all the way. Okay, got it. Now we just lay you down. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now we gotta get the straps loose so we can put them together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. Want to go the other way? Yeah. Can, can we right. see him up there? Can you pull that down so we can see his face? Wait, well, not yet, because we have to strap right. him up there. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right, everybody. As fast and as tight as we can here. One, two. Charlie's going on three, one. four, five. Okay, now we got to get the neck. Uh, what is that? Okay. You okay in there? He's not talking. No. He's, he's, there. he's in there, though. And he's concentrating. Okay, tight. Over. Got it. All right, now okay, now I want to tighten these things up. Can you make them tighter? No. Make them. <laughs> I'm trying. Make them good and tight. All right. Which is German for my underwear is too snug. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, you're tight. Michael in a minute. I don't know how you did that. Are you okay? We'll take a break. We'll be right back.